There is so much hidden functionality in this little window over here that you don't know about. And when you do learn about them, will make you a better trader. That's what we're talking about today. Like the video, lock in, let's go. Let's talk about this template section here. Single is just allowing you to buy and sell. So a lot of people, you know, when you enter a trade, you have an area where you wanna stop and you have an area where you wanna sell. So how do you set that up? In order to do that, you're going to go to TRG with bracket and then this can all be changed what i like to do so you can change these defaults i want it to be ticks percentages or just plus and minus straight points what i like to do so i go to my target with bracket i'm going to set my buy stop order anywhere on the chart below the current price and it's going to paint my bracket out there so now i can say well i want to buy if it comes to this low and then i want to sell all of this of course is draggable i want to sell at the high or i want to get stopped out at opening price of course none of that is an actual real strategy this is just for for conversation sake but that is how you can now use targets and once again all of this is easily draggable you now have a whole trade setup that you no longer even have to sit and watch if it dips to this price if it dips to this low you will get in it will automatically set both a profit take and a stop loss order when you do that Come back at the end of the day, see if you got filled, see which one triggered, and, and enjoy your merry life that way, right? There is also OCO orders, which stands for one cancels the other. If I turn this on, you're going to see a very similar uh, sort of selection of how you would like to set them up. I'm going to do the same thing. Just hit buy down here. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to set two separate entrances. So I either want to buy if it gets to this low or if it breaks high of day. So you're hitting a you're hitting a buy uh, a buy limit price and a buy stop price so that you can buy whether, you know, you can buy at two separate situations at the support or if it just breaks before it gets to the support. So that template is also available in the active trader window. If you saw that strategy running on the chart behind me in that first clip, that is a strategy that I have coded myself and I have made it available on my website along with up to 15 other strategies as well as all my custom scanners, all of my custom indicators, my workspaces if you want your charts to look exactly like mine. It's all available on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. Link will be at the top of the description down below. By default, your order numbers here are 50, 150, 250, and 500. And every time you hit this, it's going to move by 100 shares. Well, how do you change that? Set up application settings, uh, order defaults, and you go to stocks. Your default quantity of orders is set to 50. You can change this to 10. Say you want to change it to 10, it's going to go 10, 30, 50, 100. Now, you can't change the actual increment, so you can only change this first one, and then it's going to auto multiply whatever that variable is. It's going to auto set the rest, but you can change that first one. So, uh, for example, sake, if we go back in and maybe we make it 100 instead and apply, it's now 100, 300, 500, 1K, and then this is still adjusting by 100, which of course as you probably saw, can be changed here. We want it to increase by 10 instead of 100. Now, every time you hit the plus and minus, it's going to increase by 10. Let's talk about this auto send functionality. I believe this comes out of the box unchecked. And if that is, I'm going to type in one share just for prosperity sakes here. If I hit buy, I then have to go, you know, look at my order confirmation and then hit send and then it'll place the order. If I have auto send turned on and I hit buy, it goes and buys my share. You now have one click ordering. I'm going to go ahead and sell. I don't actually want this position. Um, so make sure you come into your configure here and make sure your auto send on or off is over here so that you can have that turned on for your day trading, for your active trading. You want to be able to just bang, bang, get into trades. And let's use this as a segue into tip number three, which is this customized window. Uh, if you don't just want buy market, sell market, you can buy the bid. If I type in buy, if I want to buy bid instead or buy the ask, because I don't like to use market orders, 
I can put those in. Say I want to get rid of buy market. I'm never going to use that. This is all draggable, so I can drag these up. If I hit OK, you will now see join the bid, buy the ask. And the same thing with sell. If I want to sell the ask and sell the bid, just double click them. If I want to get rid of sell market, just double click that. So all of this is... You know, you bring buttons over that you want available and then it's all drag and droppable and all of this is fully customizable and there's all kinds of options in here. I'm not going to go over all of them, but it's important that you know this exists so that you can set it up the way that you want to set it up that works best for you. Let's talk about the functionality of the window itself here. Did you know that you can zoom in and out on the price charts? On a stock like the one we're watching now, doesn't really make a lot of sense, isn't really necessary. You can just be zoomed into one penny but if you're dealing with penny stocks you may need to zoom in more and or if you're dealing with stocks with large spreads you may need to zoom out more so that is a helpful functionality did you know that all of this is draggable so say there's large bid numbers here being kind of outridden or large asks you can drag this around if the price is a little bit more than just a four dollar stock you might need to drag this to be able to see did you know that this represents the amount of volume traded at each price which is very important to look at. You can start to build some ideas. Hey, maybe 375 is a support level because look at the heavy amount of supply that is sitting there, supply and demand, uh, however way you look at it, that are both sitting there at 375. That can be very useful. You can go into the settings cog here and you can turn on a position summary, which is what you see there. I believe that is on by default. I like seeing that, but if you don't want to see, a lot of people don't want to see their open positions. They just want to get in and then get out where they're supposed to and, and, and not be able to see what they're up in the down, up or down in the trade as that influences their mentality too much. I actually suggest for a lot of beginner traders to just turn this off. Don't even look at what you're up or down. It makes your trading easier. Focus on the process, not the money, right? Um, second thing, show studies from charts. So if I turn this on, I do have a custom indicator that is ran inside of the uh, strategy that I'm running that is on the chart here. It actually represents the highest point of the last three days, I believe is what this indicator, I'm sorry, this indicator is just representing daily open. Anyway, doesn't matter. All that does is now when I scroll down, you can see it there. So let's do another, uh, maybe maybe sort of simpler example. If I turn on a simple moving average, we're just going to leave a nine simple moving average on. A lot of people want to trade off of this, right? I want to trade off the simple moving average. Well, you can now see on your active trade the exact price that the simple moving average is setting at if you want to use that for your trade plan. You can also come into this cog and you can, uh, this is just a simple sync active trader ladder and chart crosshairs. When this is on, when you're hovered over a price, you may notice that your crosshairs over there to the right are just following the price. That's simple enough. You can also come into the customize though. And once again, just like the customize bar up here, all of these columns can be switched, can be uh, changed. You can add custom columns if you would like to. All kinds of customability with that. Is custom ability a word? Just make that up. To wrap up this video, I'm actually gonna show you one fun uh, extra column that you can add from this custom uh, active trader little cog here in the top right that I just clicked on. If you add your PL open here, and then you can see right now it's blank. But if I go ahead and enter a position, I just entered one share of BLNK here at 389. You can see that it's now showing you what you would be up or down at the specific price level, right? So if you have a strategy that you base, and this is a perfectly viable way to trade, it's not how I trade, but it's a viable way to trade. Hey, I wanna exit this position if I'm up $100, I wanna uh, exit this position if I'm down $50. You can then see from the active trade, okay, well that means that I would set my you know profit here or I'd set my stop here. So that's just kind of an extra added functionality that can help turn you into a better trader. And hopefully this video has helped do just that. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button. It actually does help a lot. And hey, over 75% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. If you can help me out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You're going to get access to more thinkorswim tutorial learning videos like this, more custom think script code, more trading strategies. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's all free. You might as well do it. With all that being said, 
I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video, but I'm going to link you guys to my thinkorswim tutorial for beginners video. So if you're just getting started with this platform, you're going to want to check that out as well.